Bob! Howdy, hey, this is Frackbox, and I'm here with... <laughs> Don't you dare! <laughs> I'm here with Omega Wolf. <laughs> oh, get the, get the butterfly. Okay, so we are continuing our wonderful, excellent, stupendous... Um... You know, whenever we start up, I try to bring in something to drink, and I always drink it before we start. And then never again. <laughs> it's just... No, like, I've already finished it. Oh, have you? Yes, and just like... You literally just opened that can. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like you're drinking a, you know, so you reminded me, so you're drinking Fanta, like the grape, grape flavored Fanta. It, it's overly grape. Yeah. Like they, they were trying to like shove grape into <laughs> soda, like a literal grape. Do you remember the, the old Fanta commercials? Where's a Fanta, Fanta, wanna Fanta, Fanta, Fanta. Did I already pay Applicid? I think so. Oh no, I, I don't know if we did. I don't remember. I guess we could always talk to him. Er. Who are you talking to? Um, we must have, because okay, he's not yeah. giving us the prompt, so. Yeah, we just have to walk around until he calls us. Yeah, but uh, what's that comedian? Uh, Gabriel Iglesias? Yeah. You remember him? So apparently he went to India, and when he was in <laughs> India, I guess he made a reference to Fanta, and the entire audience started singing th that commercial. Because <laughs> apparently... So... We, he, something he was mentioning is that India has more English speakers than America does. <laughs> or the United States, I should say. So the United States has less English speakers in it than India. Do they have an official language? Or? India, they have a lot of a lot of languages. The thing is, is like every region of India has different languages. Because India is like... The whole subcontinent is a lot of different cultures. Huh. It's it's a lot more diverse than well, like because there's, like the there there's like the there's like the Punjabi and then there's the you know. Indian language. Uh no, there's not. There's Hindi, which is the um, I think it's the administrative language. But there's like lots of official languages. Huh. It's sort of like um, imagine if there were like a thousand no, imagine if there were like ten thousand more Native Americans than there are now in the United States. Huh. It's it's. That, probably even more than that. It's it's kind of when you have that many native speakers of a language, when you have millions and millions of people who speak like six languages. In fact, here's a here's a good story. Um, back when I lived in Beaverton, I knew a guy. He was a drinking buddy of mine. Eternal. And what was his name? I think it was Pan Pon or something. I forget. Can we not go through the tunnel? Not right now. I'm oh. just kind of wondering. So my my friend, my drinking buddy, uh, Pan, he spoke six languages. Ouch. Um, and I, th I think he was oh, shoot. But what's interesting is I think I've mentioned him on the channel before. Oh. But um, you know the 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 mummy movie. Uh, I've heard of it. The one with Brendan Fraser. I would. It's a, cla not it's a classic. I would it, not he, recognize the name. The guy from George of the Jungle. Okay. You, you know that guy? Yeah. So he starred in the mun the Mummy movie. Um, he's, I think he was also Do in. People die in that movie because of a mummy rising from the ground. Yes. <laughs> I lots would... of lots of people die. I would not watch that. <laughs> okay. Um, but in that Mummy movie, when he was in India, he was working as as like a, what's the word I'm looking for? He like edited, movie. They're not edited. He was like a graphic designer of sorts, and so. Huh. The CGI that he worked on for the Mummy movie um, got in the film. Huh. So there's lots of sandstorms, and he worked on the CGI for the sandstorms. So I knew a guy who worked on the Mummy movie, <laughs> which is my claim to fame. <laughs> I'm not famous for anything else. Um, Ooh, present. Nice. Why am I going through the menu when I can just press the left bumper? Uh, just have it, I guess. Are you doing auto fight? Uh, no. Yeah. I'm, I'm just going straight through. But yeah, India India is a very diverse place. Um, it's an interesting place. It's uh, it would be one of those fun places to travel to. Um, it, I mean, it has its problems the same way that America that America has its problems. Um, there are certain regions you don't want to visit, um, especially in the north, like the like the north. If you don't want to like lose your life. Yeah, well, okay, so there's... there's or there are, freedom. There are regions in India, like in the north, um, actually in the northeast and in the northwest, where um, there are disputes with China. Oh, my. <laughs> and there's also, in some of those border regions, you got to really watch out because they're basically war zones. 
Um, it's mostly in like the north, like the very, very, very northeast. And, um, or no, I'm sorry, northwest. What am I saying? In the northwest. But in the northeast, there's a dispute with China where China literally claims a part of um, this land. But so does India. And so if you logged into Google Maps from a Chinese IP address, that part of India shows up as being Chinese. <laughs> but if you log in from India, it shows up as being part of India. And, and a war almost broke out because Google messed up. <laughs> and in China, that region showed up as being part of India from a Chinese, if you logged in from a Chinese IP address for like a, for like a while. Huh. Yeah, war almost happened. Sorry, I'm a little sick, so... Wait, maybe I have to, like, go back to the Eraser now that I've talked to him. Oh, really? And, and check the thing again. Um, but so... just, like, I have enough money. So I, I'm not really sure what you've <laughs> what you've been doing exactly. Are we just? I, like... I was just trying to wait for him to call me and tell me that he was sending the, or tell me to come and pick it up. Oh, so he doesn't send something out to someone out to go de deliver it to you? No, that's Cause it spoilers. Because it has been such a long part, a long time since I played this game. Um, speaking speaking of your which, your life is empty and full of sadness. <laughs> my life is full of something, <laughs> and it is sadness. <laughs> it's certainly not empty. <laughs> not not as um, what what is that one song? Um, and my dreams they aren't as empty <laughs> as my conscience seems to be. You don't, you don't remember that song? I've never heard that. It's, you'd probably recognize the chorus. It's, uh, nobody knows what it's like to be the bad man or whatever. To no. be the sad man. <laughs> Behind blue eyes. I think the song's actually called Behind Blue Eyes. Or Blue Eyes. I don't know who it's by. Nope. Though. Kill the UFO. Whoa! <laughs> One. Wow. We, uh, we, we killed the UFO. <laughs> This um, is why aliens don't want to come visit us. So we would. So there, there are only a very few possibilities for what would happen if aliens came. If they're peaceful, there's not really a guarantee that we wouldn't be that that we would be, that peaceful. be hostile. <laughs> so humans would either want to kill the aliens, want to have peace with the aliens, peace, or I'm sick. <laughs> sorry, um, or both. Well, I mean, probably both. Um, but they'd also want to have sex with them. Mass Effect. Mass Effect. Um, that's kind of the thing is that humans are very, um, uh, you know, they're, uh, they're not picky <laughs> about those sorts of things. I guess we'll, we'll leave it at that. Um, uh, but seriously, like, if any aliens, like, if our channel... Is their first contact with humans. Oh god, I hope not. <laughs> uh, just stay away from Earth, please. <laughs> You'll probably die. <laughs> yeah. Um, we, uh... Well, I mean, that's kind of the thing about humans, is, is Star Trek kind of, um... Explored that a little bit. I mean, it's not a perfect commentary, but... It explained how... What was it? I think one of the Ferengi. Do you know what the Ferengi are? Mm, nope. They're the, the ones with the big ears. That are oh. they're hyper capitalists. Ach. I mean, that's the best way to describe them. They're hyper American. Like, they're like hyper libertarians, basically hyper libertarian capitalists. Um, but uh, I think it was Quark actually. He said something to the effect of, uh, "All these humans that you see." He was talking to like his cousin, like his nephew or something, and he's like, "All these humans you see around here." They're your friends and everything, and they're super nice. But you take away these creature comforts, and they become they up I can't speak. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> they become worse than any Klingon you Klingon you've ever met. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, look. Yeah, there we go. Oh, this is Apple Kid. I don't even know what the voice was for Apple Kid. It, it, it it's not Daffy Duck. Bugs my duck right. Oh, kids. right. So it's been like three or four weeks since we've actually played this. So nope, nope, um, nope, nope, nope. Nope. Oh, you're despawning them. them. Nope. Nope. Oh, they're nope, even closer nope, now. Nope. <laughs> Gotta nope hard enough. Um, if you don't hard, if you don't nope hard enough, and with enough nopes, you it have, doesn't work. You have to nope harder. Um, so, what's interesting about the Ferengi is that 
so the Ferengi were originally supposed to be like the main villains for uh, Star Trek The Next Generation. <laughs> Um, but they realize that nothing is inherently scary about goblin capitalists. space capitalists. <laughs> <laughs> They're not inherently scary, um, and so they just kind of put them to they put them in the corner, basically. Um, You're just like, hey, mm -hmm. you want to buy some death sticks? No, so you don't want to buy me any. You don't want to sell me death sticks. I don't want to sell you death sticks. You want to go home and rethink your life. I want to go home and really rethink my life. There was a. a is there a, no? What are you looking for? There is no... Oh, there's a hotel. Okay. Yeah. Um, I need to go there and rest. So sorry to be on the Ferengi for so much, but the Ferengi are kind of interesting. Um, they have a very... Uh, Whoa. What? It's... it's oh, it's... It's Mayo it's, Pickles! It's, uh... It's the uh, cheese... Uh, fuzzy Pickle... Pi yes. Fuzzy Pickles? <laughs> Can't speak. Just taking pictures of boys with his teddy bear. <laughs> nothing, uh, nothing weird about that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, if you were to try to do that in today's world, you would be shot by every able-bodied man in the yeah. area. Hey, kid, let me just fly in from space and take pictures of you with your teddy bear. Is that okay? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, sparkle. 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 Who's that? That is Rarity. Oh, that's R Rarity? Yes. I'm a friend who you've never met before. My name is Rarity. Can you hear me calling out? I'm Rarity. <laughs> <laughs> Sparkle, I'm Rarity. I'm Rarity. Can you hear me calling you? Help. No. Come and help me. I can hear water running into the distance. I don't care. Sparkle, please help me. No. <laughs> anyway, so the Ferengi. So, <laughs> <laughs> so <clears throat> there was... I, I can't remember what episode that was, but um, I think it might have been Deep Space Nine. Deep Space Nine was really cool. Reports um, that the mayor has stopped the sharks have been proven false. Oh, cool. They know that A politician us. lying? Wow. <gasps> That's never happened, ever. <laughs> um, so, the Ferengi have a very terrible society. Um, one How where... they become space fang? <laughs> what? Whoa, there's lots of stuff going on. where are you? It's time... Oh, something. that's her, that's her dad, right. Yeah. So... Time they're... to go to Berglund Park... All of all of so the we don't get mugged. all of the, the, the space capitalists. All the females in their society are basically slaves. That's gross. basically, and they're not allowed to wear clothes. So they're it's a very terrible society. But here's the thing: the Ferengi have actually in Deep Space Nine. I think they they criticized um, the humans because um, they went back in time to like the fifth, like the forties or the fifties or something, and they interacted with a bunch of. Um, Oh, there's the apple kid. They interacted yep. with a bunch of, like, United States, um, like, the army around the time they were testing nuclear weapons. I don't know. And they're like, why, like, the like the Ferengi that was there was like, why would you detonate nuclear weapons on people? <laughs> what kind of horrible people would kill each other with nuclear weapons? <laughs> like, this is the, this is... A, somebody coming from a society that enslaves women very hard. <laughs> Criticize. You know, it's interesting to show, like, you know, because everybody's a hypocrite, you know? Yeah. But even a hypocrite can make a good argument, you know? So, and then he goes on to say, like, because the, um, he was weirded out by the fact that they were smoking cigars. And he's like, why would you kill yourselves like that? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I kind of ask that myself. Um, and what was the other thing? He was like, you know, as terrible as as terrible as you might think we are, human, we have never had a genocide. <laughs> oh never. my! He, you know, he, you know, it's it's interesting that like humans like to think that you know everybody likes to think they're the hero, right? Everybody likes to think that their culture is the best. Everybody likes to think that that um, their uh, their way of life is superior. But the United States has genocided people. You know, we're not perfect. Most of the countries that are still alive probably have done some sort of thing. Mm -hmm. I probably mentioned this on, on the channel before, but a friend of mine... Um, remember the thing I told you about with... Um, we erased the pencil. We did. Remember the thing I told you about with... Uh, 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 Hitalia? The Hitalia, like, oh. panel? Like some, oh, right, yeah. <laughs> so somebody, so they were going through the, the panel asking people who were dressed up as the different countries different questions, and they were responding in character. And 
when they got to America, they, they asked, what what are your thoughts about the American genocides? <laughs> and, um, and America said, what American genocides? <laughs> Which is in character <laughs> for the character of America in Hitalia. But also it's possible the person just did not know. <laughs> Which yeah. is kind of perfect um, for, for that the, character. Uh, the character in America would just absolutely not be aware of that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because he he's he leans so hard into the, I'm going to rescue everyone because I'm America. Trope. Right. <laughs> but, um, sorry because for getting... Obviously, I'm the hero. Sorry for getting on, on such seri serious topics. I've just, uh, I've had coffee, so... <sighs> I'm gonna have to fight this tree. Sentence that, <laughs> that I never thought would be uttered. <laughs> the the <laughs> tree huggers will be very mad at us. Um, I'm gonna blast it with the power of friendship. It did not die. So, oh man, I got it. Nope, no, no, no. Oh shoot. No, it's going to burst into flames and try to kill me. Oh, will it? Yes, which means I just need to like hammer the A button as hard as I can. Oh my. Whoa. It did like 200 points of damage to you! Yeah, but I stopped before it rolled over. Oh my gosh. Um... That was a territorial oak, I tell you what. My last hamburger. Uh... Life up. <laughs> life up, eh? I... No! So, are all the trees that tough? Uh, thereabouts. Oh. No! No! It's just... No! So, um, if... Are, are we not high enough level now for this, or...? I just don't want to deal with the trees. Oh. So if we went on... I mean, I'm going up here specifically because there's a hard hat. Oh, that'll be useful. Yeah, so... So we talked about earlier how... Um, uh, we were going to shoot these episodes earlier, and then that would have given you a lot of time to just... Grind. grind. <laughs> but... So what if I, after I save uh, Rarity, just we come back... And Ness is level nine hundred, level ninety nine, as well as Paula. Well, eventually, like if you if you level up too much, will it eventually like roll over into negative values and then uh, go into? No, that'll only happen if you've in the hard candy, like if you've used the hard candy glitch. Oh, okay. All right. Is the right max down. level ninety nine? Yeah. Okay. I think so. Oh, look. Maybe at it's one hundred. One day, Mister Kai. Car painter received a revelation. He now speaks the real truth. Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> what? What's going on? Oh, who's that? Excuse me, tourist. I'm collecting donations to help protect the world from contaminants. What? What are you calling a contaminant? Donate whatever you can. No. I'll be your shadow then. What? Get away from me, you stalker! Is that because we didn't? We did didn't. Contribute. Why is she shadowing I us? I want to make a joke, but I'm afraid I'm going to get all the people associated angry at me and they will come and stalk me. What, what's the nature of the joke? <laughs> it, it's relating her to a group of people. Is it racist? No. Okay. Is it but I, bigoted? I, <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it's... Because we, we here at the Franken Brothers are, are very against bigotry. In all its forms. What is this guy doing? We're sleeping in a spare room. We just wandered He's like into a hotel. We wandered into a random guy's house and yep. we're sleeping in it. This I don't I don't know if I trust this guy. Are you prepared to show the proper respect to Mr. Car Painter now? No. Is it Carpenter or Car Painter? Car Painter. <laughs> like Carpenter, <laughs> what? but but he's a painter. Okay, we should probably call the episode here. But wait, there's a cow. I'm just a plain old cow, but Mr. Carpenter's messages always move me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so this is Frackbox. This is Mega Wolf. Have a great day. There's a gap here. Huh.